Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forward, so I apologise in advance. And as always, if the quality of this video is fairly poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video, and another sort of reaction video, if you like, here on my channel. We have three more songs to be revealed for the upcoming Eurovision Song Contest, which will take place in just over two months' time at the Ahoy in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. The Maltese entry, the Azerbaijani entry, and the Russian entry. San Marino's song was chosen earlier. There was the online public vote, of course, and Freaky came out on top. Not the one that I would have personally chosen, but there we are. It's not a bad song anyway, sort of disco pop. And that San Marino entry, at this moment in time in my ranking of all the entries we have so far, is number 28 of 38. However, we now have 39 songs, because a short while ago the Maltese entry was released, and I am about to listen to it in full for the first time and give you my absolute initial thoughts. There will be a blog post about this song as well, which will be up at some point not long after this video is put on YouTube. As always, let me know your thoughts. The Maltese entry is called All of My Love. It will be performed in the second half of the first semi-final on Tuesday the 12th of May, and Destiny Chukunyere is performing it, and she is 17, but what a voice she has. She was on X Facts to Malta and won. She was on Britain's Got Talent, but didn't win. And now she's representing her country in the more grown-up Eurovision Song Contest. So I'm going to give it a listen. All of my love. It's got way more likes than dislikes. And I've seen a few comments already. A lot of people are really loving this. Already putting Malta in their personal top 10 or even top 5. What I'm hoping is that this isn't too generic. And that it's all about the voice. Here we go. This could be a serious contender. I think a lot of people predicted Malta to qualify from the first semi-final anyway. When Destiny was announced as the artist. Because she's... Such a good musician, anyway. Here we go. Malta, then. This could be really great. All of my love. There she is. Oh. Okay, quite dramatic, I guess. Water crashing on the rocks. A bird. Okay. Run wild. Well, this is all nice, but let's get into it. Oh, I see. Destiny. All of my love. Here we go, then. Okay. I'm assuming this will be a soulful pop song then. Alla the Mammoths for Sweden. What a voice. She, she has got a really great voice, but I'm hoping that she doesn't overdo it, if you see what I mean. You know, I feel like some musicians who have such uh, an incredible vocal range, sometimes when they're performing live, it's as if they are trying too hard to impress, if you see what I mean. So I'm hoping that Destiny doesn't go too over the top. I'm sure she won't. One of the best vocalists this year, and she's only 17. Her voice reminds me a bit of Emily Sande as well. Okay, it's building up. This is good. This is good. Yeah, it's definitely got elements of soul. A bit more of a funky beat now. Lots of people with their mouths covered up like this. Probably a wise move, given the current situation. Yep, 
yeah, I like this. There's not too much to say because I'm trying to enjoy the song. It's powerful. And it's not like her junior Eurovision winner either. This is different. But still good. Oh yeah, quite catchy. Hmm. It's way too early to say if this will be a Eurovision winner, but it's certainly good enough to qualify. So Azerbaijan are really going to have to bring it. <laughs> or else they're not going to qualify. Yeah. You can picture the crowd clapping along to this. Well, now there's fire and rainfall. This is great. This is the sort of song Britain should be sending. But alas. Yeah. It's a, it's a feel good sort of song, isn't it? Wow. What can you say? It's great stuff from Malta. I expected nothing less. They've really upped their game. They've really upped their game. When you consider last year Chameleon, that song was fantastic and should have done better in the voting, admittedly. But the music video, I mean, it was so striking and so cool and interesting. And this is also very much in the same vein. Uh, let's see what some comments are saying. Uh, I mean, very, very positive. Very positive. This just left me breathless. Uh, my wig is lost. Malta wants to win very much, and why not? This song is amazing, but it doesn't feel like a winner. That will winner will be Bulgaria or Iceland or Germany or Lithuania. Yeah, Bulgaria is the favourite to win now, but uh, this song, I think, is more memorable than Bu the Bulgarian one already, in my opinion. This is so good. Somebody said disappointed. Nice vocals, but I don't like the song. With the right staging, this can go far. Okay, well, I don't think there's much else to say. Malta bringing their A game, bringing one of their best musicians who's still only 17. Fantastic. I should say just over 8,000 views for this music video at the time of recording. Uh, I'm just going to take a look and see if there are any comments very briefly on some other social media pages. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think Malta could be a serious contender? Malta aren't messing around. No, they're not. And, yeah, that's about it. Nothing much else to say. There will be a blog post about the Maltese entry very soon. And so now we are waiting on Azerbaijan and Russia. And who knows, maybe one of those songs will be our winner this year. Stranger things have happened. That's it, I think. Well done, Malta. Now, in terms of my personal ranking of those songs, I'll need to listen to the song a few more times. But I think Malta will probably go... Maybe straight in at number 12 in my ranking, which is pretty good. I mean, uh, upon first listen, I don't think it's winner material, but it's very strong and should get Malta a very, very good result in Rotterdam this May. Until next time then, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be back with another Eurovision-related video fairly soon. Apologies if the quality wasn't that great or I rambled too much. But until next time... Bye for now.